That's not bad. That's pretty cool, That's actually. Not bad. I like it's that. using the modern Disney style so. mode <laughs> to generate an Elden Ring style <laughs> castle. And it's That's cool. quite the best one so far, honestly. That's really <laughs> cool. <laughs> But you can do the same in the opposite. You can get yeah. Elden Ring to generate a Disney castle. Yep, yep. Oh, I love this so much. Look at that! Shadowverse. Greetings, I'm Shad, and if you've seen the previous video on AI, you might have realized that I'm starting to get rather excited about it. We have tried to make AI-generated swords with mixed results, but some are really good. So the next stage in our AI exploration on this channel is, can we make some really awesome AI castles? And I'm joined by a very special guest, Jazza! How are you, mate? Good, I'm really excited to be here. Oh, it's, it's, awesome, to be, it's awesome to have you here. Um, we kind of... We, we need to do the same disclaimer yeah, on every single video. I think so. We're brothers. We are. For those of you who don't know. Can you, is it little thing you recognize? You see the you see the similarity? Look at me from the side. I think you take more after dad, I take more after mum. Yeah. Visually. Yeah. And do you know what? I th I think just personality probably too. <laughs> yeah, actually, I agree with that as well. I got actually that's not that's that's not true. Dad's a bit obsessive. So <laughs> I think we certainly have the kind of creative streak that yeah. dad really gets he's got that obsessive creative streak. We do He was a bit know. obsessed with castles too, if I recall. Trains more. They were castles. Was it? They were castles. They were, didn't he make a castle? He make we went to Crow Castle. I don't know. It was, there was there were some castles, but my memory I, is what, what I consider obsessive. He is nowhere near. No, yeah, but I am as obsessive about castle medieval stuff as our dad is obsessive with trains and western stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yes, we're brothers. It's awesome to have you here. It's awesome to collaborate again. We have done a couple of collaborations. We have. I feel like this is one of the like. Okay, we share a lot in common. A lot mm -hmm. of interests, um, like you know, art and mm -hmm. even like look, my level of skill and interest. With medieval stuff, I consider myself an enthusiast. I'm not at your level. You know what I mean? Even so, and it's a bit vice versa. Like you're an artist, you yes. consider yourself quite creative. You're a writer as well, but it's like obviously that's my obsession. Exactly. So we're, our channel sort of uh, there's a bit of medieval in my channel. Mm -hmm. There's a bit of art in your channel. Yes. Uh, but it's nice to have the crossover every now and then. Mm -hmm. We actually just had a collab over on my channel where we mm -hmm. did the AI thing, but really dove in deep. So mm -hmm. we're probably not going to need to give too much context in this video because we crapped on about it for ages oh, over yeah. in my video. <laughs> Which is what we, like, the whole reason this collab came about is because this is, we just got <laughs> fired up talking about it over a catch up at, at a family dinner. I was having dinner at Jazza's place and I was just really excited about what I made and so I showed Jazza. And then Jazza was actually quite in Yeah. <laughs> because I I know the potential, but I haven't had the opportunity to really sink my teeth into it and learn it to show it well. Mm -hmm. And you've been doing that. Oh, and yeah. what you showed me is like what I wish I could show my audience. Mm -hmm. And we got to do that, which mm -hmm. I'm so grateful for. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Um, but now I know you need a real expert on castles mm -hmm. to review your AI castles because you don't want to get this wrong. I don't. So I that's why I've yes. come here to make sure. Because you know, you know that you know the articulations. And the, yeah. The and the, uh, I like to call them battlements <laughs> as a as a cover all because <laughs> I don't want to confuse people. Well, it's true. But, yeah. but just. Put it all in a nice little package, mm -hmm. battlements. I make it approachable. It's true because you, know? you actually you're, you're combining. I'm it. the translator. You, well, you can yeah, get yeah. obsessive oh, and do all that, but exactly. you know what? Maybe you start typing matriculations, and maybe I need about you know what AI is going to understand battlements. I don't know if I'll offer any value, but we both mm -hmm. share the same excitement mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for what our AI tools can do. And just because this is an informational channel, when Jazza says battlements, that is actually a catch-all term for the ramparts, the matriculations, the crenellations, which include the Merlon and Crenell, okay? Mm -hmm. And they're all together. So uh, you have Correct. that. Correct, yes. The corbeling as well, that's part of the matriculations. Yep. But you could just summarize it all with I think you got it all. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Thank you Good job. You, yeah. you, you, know, you, you passed, know your stuff. You passed this one. I have Stable Diffusion locally installed on this laptop here. Just straight out of the bat, we're going to give, give it a go. I was going to start with a complete baseline to see what capability the AI even has for familiar with castles. So I was just going to do castle and see what it spits out. That's actually not a bad castle. It is, that is exactly what it is. But it feels like they copied an image completely. It I, does but I feel can't, like The thing that. is, though, I cannot recognize that. I, I, I have walked out though, like, so many historical castles that I have a big reference pool in that. my head. I can't recognize it. And isn't that funny? Like, and that you th it looks like it copied it. There are clear like signs of AI generation, particularly see how the, yep. you know, the matriculations the are a little yeah. messed up. The joins between sections. Here, I feel like yes. that's like a round, I almost feel like that 
would be rounded, but it didn't know if it's flat or rounded, mm -hmm. so it's connected there. So this so this, this was generated from yeah. scratch. This is a brand new castle. Doesn't exist in reality. It looks like it could. It's not bad at all. <laughs> I'm like, that's way better than so, I was expecting. So let's do a couple more just to see what the variance is just on the single prompt. I, I, that was a far better result than I was expecting. Oh, wow. All right, that's a bit more this messed up. This is still just castle. Though, yeah, right? it is just castle. It's still a bit more. Now, I can actually, I feel like they're taking off some of the artistic rendition, uh, renders of Castle Guillard, uh, Goyard. I um, like there's like this, that, that's an entryway yeah. to me. And then this is almost like a, a pulpit where the, the king might step out and give a speech this or is, look at the enemy yeah, or something. This is legitimately taking references off real of our images of actual castles and also some 3D renderings of castles. So the sample set that it's working off of, I can actually recognize elements. That's a bit weird, but I, I can see what I was doing, but that's an odd result. <laughs> What's interesting about that is it's referencing something mm -hmm. real. It's referencing yes. a castle that must have been demolished past a certain level and built up yeah. new on top or something. Because that's like that's like the old, the new built on top of the old. Look what it did with the machicolations where it has like these lines in between. It's so interesting to see how it gets its results and what it's getting its information from. Segway! Oh! You know, all this making AI castles has gotten me hungry and I've come back to my real castle, which, well, I, it's real uh, that you can touch it, but it's fake. It, you understand, right? To make myself something to eat, because luckily this video is sponsored by HelloFresh and today we're going to be doing glazed beef eye fillet and a garlic grease. Oh, that sounds very good. With the most festival time of year upon us, HelloFresh is here to help make the most of every moment. From hosting holiday events to dinners during busy weeknights, HelloFresh is here to deliver fresh ingredients and seasonal recipes. It's also here to help you save money because HelloFresh is cheaper than many grocery shopping runs and 25% less expensive than takeout. But one of my personal favorite things is how delicious the food is while also being so healthy and nutritious. Their meals have 20% fewer calories than takeout so you can still have the flavor that you enjoy but without the guilt. If you're Short on time, HelloFresh has quick and easy options like 20 minute meals and easy clean up dishes. They're big on flavor and easy on effort, which is another thing that I particularly like because I much rather get the cooking done and straight into the eating. I've mentioned it many times before, but I've used HelloFresh for years now and I have yet to have a recipe I did not enjoy. It is delicious, really great value for money, highly recommend it. And there's a way that you can try HelloFresh right now with a whole heap of free food. All you have to do is go to HelloFresh.com and use code SHADOWVERSE18 for 18 free meals plus free shipping. I first tried HelloFresh through one of these deals, free food, you know, what did I have to lose? And I was hooked ever since. That is, mm, oh wow. So, thing is though, we started this video with Jazza. All right, that's it. I know what to do. Ah. Let's see if we can get this to Jazza before it gets cold. Let's go, let's go. All right, in the side, come on, Levi, get in, get in, we gotta get it before it's cold. Let's get it, let's get over to Levi, get in the car, come on. You need to keep it warm, okay? We can't give Jazza cold food. It's dripping away! I don't know! It's sacrificing your bait! Alright, let's turn up the heat. Let's turn up, we'll turn up the heat. It's a 30-degree day, but that'll help. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta go! Jazza! We're here! We're here! Have we got you! We got you HelloFresh, Jazza! We got you HelloFresh! Right here! Okay. Oh, we, we, we tried to get here as fast as we could. Oh, we good. think it's still warm. Alright. Pencils? You got your pencils? Are you serious? Kind of survived the, the trip. Yeah, I'm gonna guess. This video is brought to you by HelloFresh. This Fresh. video is brought to you by HelloFresh. Here's a knife. I don't need your knife. You don't need... <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you think, Jess? Are we still filming? We're still filming. <laughs> you just want to eat it. I, I, I think uh, it's lunch break time. Lunch break That's time. why I was like, come before one, because I'm like... Oh, because you want your lunch. <laughs> well, yeah, I brought your lunch right here, right here. Beautiful steaks. Look, HelloFresh is genuinely good. So I'd remember... Right. I can take it from you. Promo code Shadow This was 18. entirely uh, unscripted, <laughs> but I definitely can vouch for HelloFresh. I have actually, myself, I know you have been a customer for them for years. Mm -hmm. So have I. I've also held on and collected mm -hmm. their recipes. Totally vouch for them. Really, really good stuff. Mm -hmm. I like the variety, but it's it's simple, but not too simple. Because you want a little mm -hmm. bit of, you want to be able to like cook good meals. So remember, go to HelloFresh.com and use code SHADOWVERSITY18 for 18 free meals and free shipping. It's actually genuinely good. This wasn't a bit. I jumped this on just without him knowing. And uh, this is the best, like, I don't know. I never know what you're going to spring on me. So when you're like, yeah, can I come around and not tell you what I'm up to? Like, it's usually not something I'm happy to, you know, this is, this is good. I told you that this would be a good one. And it, it, like, 
He's actually genuinely eating it all because it's actually good food. <laughs> Give it a go. You won't be disappointed. And thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. So if yeah. you typed in Fantasy Castle, I reckon the result would be quite different because we actually got some pretty authentic, historically inspired kind yep, of castles yep. there. So now we're going for a totally different flavor. Mm -hmm. And it's going to draw from a different As image simple set. A prompt. Look at... Oh, man! <laughs> Not only do we change castle to fantasy castle, clearly mm -hmm. that's a fantasy castle, but at the same time... The style, because most fantasy castles have big pointy yeah, towers. Yeah. And... What I was going to say though is like, there's a lack of detail, there's a lack mm -hmm. of clarity and sort of uh, yes. grandeur, and that's mm -hmm. because... Uh, and that's where these additional prompts and flavor text that people mm -hmm. learn to use and add emphasis on things come in yes. place. We're giving it the same prompt, mm -hmm. technically. We're just saying fantasy castle, yes. except we're saying make it detailed, HD, 4K, masterpiece award winning. Mm -hmm. That's not saying anything about the castle. Mm -hmm. That's saying that the thing I want needs to, cut, needs to be that. So mm -hmm. stylistically, technically, yeah. cover all those elements and give me your fantasy castle. Mm -hmm. Same prompt but a lot more sandwiched in there to tell really it to get something cool. Oh! <laughs> that looks awesome! That is very like, good. There is some janky things there, right? But, oh, Look you... at that. That's, a, that's the cover uh, of a book or album okay, or okay. something. I'm going to copy this prompt, right? And I'm going to say, send to image to image. And then I'm going <sighs> to... Add the prompt back in. So, okay, so now design. you're doing an AI prompt referencing that. that castle. Mm -hmm. And it had in. nothing to reference except for every castle mm -hmm. and fantasy image of the world ever. Yes. And it came up with that, which is mm -hmm. very good. But now you're giving it the boundary of that image. Yes. The same prompt and saying, rather than search all over the world, we like this, mm -hmm. make this really good. And then I'm going to up the resolution, to, so therefore it's forced to add in more detail. <laughs> I love this so much! <laughs> this is nuts! How do people not know how freaking cool this is? It's, it's so Every cool. time I look deeper into this technology, mm -hmm. my mind is more blown and I'm more inspired. Yeah. So, look, it's fleshed out it more, it's added more detail. That, this is what it was, very fuzzy around the yeah, edges. Yeah, see, see, see how it's like mangled here and you don't you really define there's the a, There's like weird perspective mm -hmm. issues in there, but it's still very detailed. Yeah. So it is working very hard to give us what we want. And then it's fleshed it out Just, even more. Oh, that's so, amazing. Well, let's let's actually oh my god, let's up the resolution, to add even more detail in, and let's give it a bit more freedom to improve the design, hopefully. And I just want to add, let's throw a curveball. We're mm -hmm. referencing that, but mm -hmm. I want to say purple sky. Oh, interesting. So I'm I'm telling it to change one thing, mm -hmm. but it's still referencing now, that. We might not have given enough freedom to fully redo the sky, but let's see. I love this so much. <laughs> Every time I click the button, I'm like, I can get anything. Yeah. Yeah. What, what will it do? Oh, it looks way fuzzy. Yeah. It's sort of like, they purpose like, that's weird. So we've probably given a bit too much freedom then. And like, I think that and might be a one-off. not a purple sky. Hang on. Let me, let me try. Let me, based on what I've learned from you, if I lower the denoising de strength, it'll stick to the pose. Mm -hmm. But if I up got the it. CFG scale, mm -hmm. yes. it'll reinterpret things a little more. Maybe take my purple sky Yes, prompt. you got it exactly. That's okay. exactly So it. I want the castle to look the same, but I want the color and the prompt to be mm -hmm. adhered to. It gave it a purple roof. It did. So, yeah. It gave it a purple roof. Should we, should we expand this a bit more? Sure, sure. CFG. I just want to see if the pose stays. It if you really want it, put the purple sky in brackets and let it like really. Oh, okay. So it's not it's not quite doing it. I'm like mm. purple sky. So mm. you're sort of saying double bracket, double bracket, purple sky to be like purple sky. Focus on this AI. To be like try to beat it over the head. It's like we want you to do this. This is incredible. It's amazing. This is insane that this exists. This is insane. Like, this is a unique piece of art that, that you no can has, use however you want, and no one has ever seen and before. And it's beautiful. If I walked past this. It's not doing it. It's make it, doing make it. my sky purple, damn it. And then in negative prompt, can I go purple roof? Yeah. Will that, in theory, say it's not purple roof, mm -hmm. purple sky, purple clouds. Let's give it a go. Because imagine I'm mm -hmm. a writer mm -hmm. and this is my fantasy world and I think that is my mm -hmm. castle, right? That is my perfect castle. Mm -hmm. I don't have the skills in this analogy to use yeah. Photoshop to change the sky purple. I want, uh, to, I want to tell it to make it purple sky, because mm -hmm. in my world, the sky is Because if it's really not doing it, what you do is just bring it into Photoshop yeah. and do a, a purple a kind of But filter. I'm trying to say, like, I, I want to see if with just AI, if we can, mm -hmm. I want to see how far we can curate it. Wow. It's getting some purple effects. So That's pretty gorgeous, though. It is, actually. That's like, quite beautiful. It, it, like, 
the castle is very mangled. Um, and so I didn't see that. Yeah. <laughs> I just I thought it looked more like compared to the original. That looks more like a storybook. It looks mm. really aesthetically pleasing. Like it's less grainy. You know. So there's actually a tool in Stable Diffusion to give Jazza exactly what he wants, and I can't believe I forgot it. It's called the In Paint tool, and all you have to do is select that portion in the image that you want the AI to regenerate. So we'll specifically only select the sky, and with the exact same prompt that we put in before, we generate a new image, and voila. We have a purple sky, and we can do it again to get different results. We're stuck on this one castle. You We're stuck on that. We want to see other castles, and so we're I mean, back that on one's this very one. That was the original. That one's not bad. I, I was, that was pretty fun. Well, that was the first one we got from this prompt. Yes. And then there you go. Like, mm, look, at, look that. at that pathway. I, I, I it doesn't know where it's going. Yeah. <laughs> then I could remove this this part in Photoshop and just improve it. Right? Isn't that funny? The mm. immediate reaction to that. Mm -hmm. I feel like yours was, oh, that's where it went wrong. Mm -hmm. Mine was, oh, look at that pretty castle. Yeah. <laughs> but the castle is a mishmash. It's a, it's a bit too mangled for my life. But life. it goes to show, like, you know mm -hmm. what works and what you're going for. And so you can see that to, to fix it, right? That's, that's pretty good. Like, wow. Like, it's... What I love about the AI, it has no restrictions in, and it'll Guns. even it'll even make it's got abstract a purple stuff. Sky. It has a purple sky. <laughs> uh, that is really interesting. So... Yeah. Um, if I yeah, so what, if we add purple sky, yep. Um, uh, sorry, I'm not going to let it go. <laughs> it'll eat more easily added in because yeah. it's not being. Look at look that. at that. So now we're using a completely different model that the AI is working from, and it's the modern Disney style. And one of the things that it has is the Disney style castles, and so I'm really interested in what it'll make. Just just castle, modern, modern Disney, Disney style. style. Okay, that's pretty. Beautiful. That's yeah, not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Let's give it another go. But you can instantly see the Disney. And it doesn't need, look. yeah. So using the different engines is a very interesting thing. I, I am looking mm -hmm. forward to just learning about the different engines people mm -hmm. have sort of well, utilized. And how do they do that? So Because it's open source. So mm -hmm. it's different coders finding a way to channel AI's attention yeah, through specific sources. Training it off of a whole new image set. Rather than mm -hmm. saying... All the images on the internet, good luck with your prompts. Yes. It's sort of saying we're focusing on comic book references here. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Exactly. That's cool. I don't mind that one. All right. Do a couple more. Give it a shot. I do have something very cool to show you next, though. Every time you say that, it actually is something cool. So I'm <laughs> ready. So I have a model that is it trains the image off of the Elden Ring style. So we're telling it to use modern Disney style. An Elden Ring style. <laughs> That's not bad. That's pretty cool, That's actually. Not bad. I like it's that. It's using the modern Disney style so. mode <laughs> to generate an Elden <laughs> Ring style <laughs> castle. And it's That's cool. quite the best one so far, honestly. That's really <laughs> cool. <laughs> but you can do the same in the opposite. You can yeah. get Elden Ring to generate a Disney castle. Yep, yep. Oh, I love this so much. Look at that! <laughs> That is awesome! And do you know what's not... Not only do we have a purple sky... Yes! But, <laughs> which clearly makes a good castle scene. No, but what's fascinating to me is this is doing more to generate cool and unique castles than saying HD, high quality, yes. 4K, atmospheric. We're saying take this style and merge mash it with, it with this one. Use, so use this style engine, give me that style and make a castle. And it's actually doing really cool like, stuff. It is really cool. Wow, which is, I think, oh my god! <laughs> oh man. But I think this really highlights the where the real strength mm. of AI is. Yeah. The prompts are cool and all, but it's if you can tell it that is, is that we're getting some yeah, great this results. This is and now. this is every single one is fantastic. Yeah. And I think it comes down to if it knows what you want and two styles like Elden Ring, Disney, Castle, mm. it actually has much more clarity in making something cool for you without too many words this or definitions. This one is really cool. So what do you like about this one, Mr. Castle Man? Okay, okay. So what I love about this one, it actually has some historic, it, it's got a second roof line, but it's also on a very distinct square tower, mm. which is very reminiscent of Germanic style castles and stuff, especially how it kind of changes the style. And then it's got the, like, you know, the half-timbered kind yeah. of integration with it, yeah. and it's on a prominent peak. Like, like that's there's some really yeah. cool elements yeah. about that one. So would you change the prompt? Um, would you keep it simple, like atmospheric like, like, castle? I'm going to keep it the same and just see what it does when we um, uh, up the detail and give it a bit of freedom. 
okay, that's getting pretty cool. That actually added some really cool elements in, yeah. like the side towers and it's stuff. It changed a bit. It changed a lot. But it did decide, it picked a direction and it's got more focus. Oh, it, it mangled it a bit. But do, do it again. Do it again. Oh, no. you're holding back the original silhouette yeah. more. <laughs> you like the square edges though. So I do, I do. I, I don't mind the addition of those towers on the corners, but it was a bit too mangled. Um, uh, and abstract it became. So if we tell it to them, stick to the original and try and give us something. That's pretty cool. It's not bad. So just to see what happens. Interesting that actually I'm seeing some similarities to this castle's actually an Elden Ring from that. So Ooh. that's actually pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So yeah, focusing on a different style gives you a completely different okay. aesthetic based on what it's. SketchUp, you had open. Yes. You had open because you have made castles. So I have designed castles. And we are going to screenshot your castles yes. and get Stable Diffusion to make freaking cool versions of your castles. That's the hope. All uh, right. I haven't tried this before. Okay. And so I'm I in... love this though because you, you've been doing this for years. Oh, like yeah. You've been yeah. making, and like the fact that this is possible that people who invest their skills mm -hmm. in 3D modeling. Mm -hmm. Obviously, creating a fantasy depiction that's like a book kind of a quality is a totally different skill set. Yes. But to enable people to visualize and complete their creations in that way with AI. Oh, yeah. Is, like yeah. one of the troubles I have is trying to get a good render of this thing. Andrew. And if we wanted to give this a bit more of a guide as to uh, um, uh, what colors to follow. So if I say, uh, let's make that green. Um, and you just pick like the... Whatever green, just whatever like, green, yeah. whatever green, um, like that. And yeah. then let's, I don't know, tell it to do purple, purple's got a purple, <laughs> purple's <laughs> guy, purple's guy. Right. I don't know why this is my thing in this video. Sure, all right, all right, make something cool. I think it says fantasy to me, you know what I mean? Yeah, yep. go now, magical. This could be really tricky. I might be, I we'll find out, we'll find out, okay, because I haven't done this before, so I'm like cloud there, cloud there. So it's really not like high pressure on doing like you they you're just giving it something to mm -hmm. to reference. Yes. And so let me just say that. Grab the <laughs> I don't know what I'm, I don't know. I don't know what it'll do. All right, that's about as good as we can get. We need the also oh, this needs to go up high, otherwise it'll be Especially really when you have loose thing. references. Yes, yeah, okay. like that. And so uh, and what do you what would you change around that? Elden ring? You we'll keep that? Let's just keep it. Let's yeah, just see okay. what it does. Oh Not all, well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, okay. okay. So, well, I don't, you know, the castle's sort of cool and more realistic. You know, I would actually get rid of the background now. Um, you reckon? Well, you need to give it a lot of freedom to do a really good background, but that'll alter the castle design way too much. And so I would actually uh, do the background and castle separately uh, as a result. Or, or, okay. <laughs> but don't you get it? It's yeah, hilarious. okay, I hear what you're saying. That's kind of a cool style though. Stunning. 4K uh, fan, uh, so that'll do. Fantasy landscape, um, purple sky, uh, oh, craggy rocks, doing. swirling clouds, magnificent. Perfect. Okay, that's actually awesome. That's actually awesome. That's actually so, really cool. So now, yes, yes. All right, let me do. It. I'm gonna. Do it. No, all right, go on. Um, So you're going for yes, that, yep. and then basically what all we need Just to do... Just stretch the sky up Yeah, to yeah. We're on the same page. Purple sky. There you go. I, I feel like we need... Okay, so yours is quite harsh contrast. So if we go... I'm just going to grab the background, grab the levels, and bring it up the darks, bring down the lights. And I'm just being a bit cheeky here. I'm actually mm -hmm. going to add a clipping mask, a gradient, and purple. Oh, yeah, we have to get the... And uh, get, I'm just trying to tell it that the castle is a part of this scene. Mm -hmm. So by doing that, maybe a bit of pink on this side. And then get a blending. Yeah, just pick a blend mode. So like even like even uh, even Ooh, that, yeah. soften it just a little, just something. You know what I mean? Yep, yep, yep. I see exactly what you're doing. And, I'll, and last thing is I'm going to grab burn. I actually feel like I, I might be helping. You, I, actually, <laughs> I, I love what you're doing here. Okay, so uh, 
I'm useful in a shad video. Who the <laughs> thought? Yeah, so just giving it a little bit of shadow. Oh, you know, you're doing that. Oh, that on the ground. Yeah, 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 shadow on the ground. I reckon you need to add some harsher shadows on the actual building then. To try okay, all right. Just on the on the bottom end. So look, it doesn't have to be graceful, yeah, but if, yeah. we're, if we're making it a picture that makes a little more yes, physical, yes, spatial yes, sense. Absolutely. What people are seeing, do you see how much artistry, like even Jazz is just quickly adding in here to get the best results possible? Pause. That fantasy landscape was made from scratch, and it's actually amazing. I can't this believe is how actually a legitimate, real version of like you know the like the the meme of TV shows where it's like zoom mm. in, enhance, zoom yes. in, enhance. You can do that. It actually, is that? This is what we're like at, at family. <laughs> <laughs> So right. it's a it's a bit much for people, which is why we try and contain it and put it in content. I'm excited. I don't know. Me I too. I think this has a shot. Ooh, that's pretty cool. That's actually not bad. It, like it's it's messed up some of the design elements, but it's me, it's merging into the background really it well. It really has. It's given and that you art, a really clear that, sense of scale. And and that color scheme. That's actually that's pretty cool. I, oh. Give it a little more freedom. Do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at and look at that. Yes. Like, oh my god. And this is where you could render and render. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude! Oh, 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 oh wow. Oh wow. It's blended it into the background and oh this is gorgeous. And you could do the thing where you render and render yes, and render yes, and, and match it spots. all together. Uh, like I, I absolutely would. This I is think stunning. We could even chuck that down, back down a little bit because, like, like the sky, get a sky you want. Get a look. Look at how defined the chronology. Like, yeah. sorry, the the um, matriculations are on the tower and stuff. And you absolutely, absolutely, at this stage, I could keep generating mm. and then get the best results out, out of the. Mall. It's it's keeping quite a bit of the original in mm. the terms that the castle looks a bit separate from the background yeah but it actually gives it quite a bit of strength in the composition mm -hmm. i'm just curious to see with a little more freedom if it's going to blend them together a little more yep. organically just because obviously the castle 3d render is very different stylistically mm -hmm. that's pretty cool man yeah oh, i chuck the freedom up again i reckon let's just see what it does oh it's mangling it now see now we've given it yeah, too, too much, much freedom. freedom so it's up up here and that one needs to go down a good chunk. You reckon? Right? Yeah, even more, I'd say. So this is the balance that you need to try yeah. and figure out. Then you find a sweet spot, and then you can get the best. But you know what? Like all. the up lighting. Oh and wait, the... wait, wait! Like that has really good depth to it. It does. Look at that valley mm. back there. Ooh. Look, it's. I'm interested to see how you would piece together your favorite bits of each one. Yeah, like this is at a point where now it's at. You think it's mangled? You've got a formula. Mm -hmm. Just keep going and pick yes. the pieces. But, yeah. That added a really interesting mm. center point to the thing. And so And it might come up with something that you think, oh, that improves by design. Like you might want to change your design well, if it and, and this you. is the other thing what I do as well. Sometimes I adjust the freedom based on what I'm focusing on. So sometimes faces that get too mangled as so I reduce freedom and only do it until I get the face right. And then I adjust mm. the freedom to get things. So if I wanted it to The fact that it's respecting the contrast and colors, mm. I find really interesting because it makes it so much more usable. Oh, if yeah, it was yeah. tweaking too like, much about that. So I, I chucked it back down to follow the design again, and I would do this to get this center part yeah, because okay. it was mangling the center part too much. And so with and these crank ones, the freedom to get great backgrounds. Exactly, exactly. And then uh, and so this is then giving me okay options. Like we actually got the windows on that one, and so it's like all right, I'm getting this. But I this is so insanely cool. It is really cool. We're getting some really interesting yeah. stuff. But what I love about this one is what you did to add the background and the atmosphere. Yeah, uh, and it's like this really epic kind of. Glad I, glad I could bloody help. You know, <laughs> I, I feel like I actually contributed to your video because oh, I can't bring castle experience. But it does go to show it doesn't. It didn't take much mm -hmm. aside from generating an asset. Mixing it with what you wanted that might to be the best tower roof. Sorry, yes, go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think it really is that balancing act, and and like we've said many times uh, in this video and in mine, mm -hmm. um, creating the assets and creating the, the prompts, and then the mm -hmm. and picking the artworks and mixing it all together is a new skill, but new it skill. is a skill in and of itself. Um, and there will be industries built on and careers built on the ability to there do this. Well. Just, I wanted to give it a lot of freedom just to see. Uh, I, it's so creative. And so sometimes it just, what? <laughs> oh, that's cool though. Yeah. So that's basically, it's redoing the yeah. entire entire composition. Yeah. But uh, 
it is interesting just to see what it makes mm. based off of, all right, you have this much kind of input. What will you do as a result? Wow. That's pretty beautiful. That's actually really nice. That's like, a fantastic, like, that, that would be a great book cover or like... Yeah, you would want to fix up just like some some of the odd parts, but absolutely like for an like there are des castle designs where they are very chaotic, and this does cha this can do chaotic really well. You know, in the back of some tabletop time role play videos, we have we need a really mm -hmm. widescreen environment that mm -hmm. like previously we just like Google image crop something that looks appropriate, blur it out enough that we're not infringing on copyright. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all, that's the limitation because it's yes. such a, whereas now it's like with tools like this, you can actually be like, give me a super wide screen, um, get me exactly the like, perfect environment. And you have unlimited resources mm -hmm. to do that. I mean, this environment that it just generated is was the first gorgeous. one. First, first one, one it came up with. Give first it, one. Give, give it another crack. Same prompt that came up with that. Mm -hmm. Also came up with... Wow. Like fantasy yeah. landscape is, uh, there's a lot for it to draw from in that. And so the creativity is yeah. just like, look at what so it is. So cool. It's crazy. So I'm sorry to there's, no, 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 there's, it's, there's so much potential with this. And we've got some really interesting results. Like that is, that's my favorite. Wow. That is 100% my favorite. I know you're going to be picky about the yeah, castle, yeah, yeah. but look at the hues of blue. I know. Look at the other castle and mm -hmm. buildings. Look at this. Look like how big it looks because we can see rooftops down here. How the tops, stairs come out. And colossal mountains in the far background and the framing of this stormy sky it above. Looks, Beautiful glowing golden lights. That is it's gorgeous. That is it's gorgeous. Stunning. So honestly, like the castle results that we got out of the AI, like, some were mangled, but some look pretty gorgeous. My mind was blown based on what we've already mm. done today. And then mm. coming in to do this, my mind's been further blown. Like mm. every time my teeth sink deeper, <laughs> my mind is more and more blown. And, and it just goes to show this is a train that can't be stopped. Mm -hmm. Figure it out and you'll be able to ride it. Oh my God. <laughs> Stop it. They're, they're, it's they're also good. Keep going because they're all so good. It's addictive. Yeah. There will be, this will become a new like dictionary defined addiction. <laughs> it's like an, we got to stop. We, stop. we, could go we could go so, for hours. We have gone more, hours more than we scheduled. Yes. <laughs> this yes. is so fun. It really, really is. Thanks uh, for having me here. Oh, my today, pleasure, Chad. dude. Thanks for doing it with me because it is heaps of fun. And just to see that, like, the concepting and like giving you different ideas that you can work with and. That's yeah. that's the strength that we found with this one, just like with the sword one, where it's got fails, but yep. there's ways you can absolutely work with it. I knew before our meeting today, like before our collab, that with the game dev I'm doing personally with my mm -hmm. team, that we're going to lean on AI more to free up our human resources to mm -hmm. focus on the art and stuff we want to. This is absolutely yes. proven that. Mm -hmm. Like to me, I'm like, this is going to save our artists mm -hmm. so much time to do what we want to do yes. by doing the stuff that we don't have to do mm -hmm. better than we could so we can do the stuff we want to do. And like, it, that is the opportunity. It enables you to produce a better yeah. product yeah. for the same price that you're offering before. And artists to do the less repetitious, mm -hmm. more enjoyable and fun stuff. Yeah. It's amazing. Oh, look, thank you very much for watching. Guys, check out the video I did with Jazzo on his channel where we get to go deep dive under many of the applications and how to even use it in a professional way, what I'm doing with my comic book graphic novel developments. Yeah. Really awesome stuff. Uh, it's a great fun video, so do go check that out. Thank you for thank joining you, Jazzo. Thank you for having me. We're funny for you. Oh, oh, yeah. It's brother, it's brother, brother love. Thanks but for having me. Absolutely, man. And thank you very much for joining, guys. I hope to see you on the next video here on Shadowversity. And until that time... Thank you.